Good morning, good morning. It's Saturday. I just got up. I don't know what the time is. It's half past ten. I was quite late. The cat's here. Peen's at work, as you probably know. She's been text spamming me all morning. Uh, most ignoring them because she's trying to sleep and stuff. <laughs> Not sure what's going on today. Apparently I need new shoes for my new job. So, I've got to go and get new shoes. I'll try and put that off for next week, next week though. I hate buying shoes. So lame. So, yeah, anyway, it's sort of, I don't know, oh, cat there. Sort of breakfast time. Gonna watch some TV or whatever. Peen will be home in about an hour, so, see Peen soon. The Brit Vlog. Nine cat approved. Hello, I am home now. So, that's good. Weekend has finally started. Yay. Um, this morning wasn't too bad. Um, it was fairly busy actually, I suppose. Well, sort of normal for us. Saturdays are usually quite busy. So, but um, steady pace like early on. So like the first couple of hours went really quickly. And then you have the compulsory last minute person that always comes at like 25 past 11. <coughs> Aiden's in the shower, apparently it's hot. <laughs> um, so yeah, so Aiden's had a fairly quiet morning, he's just showering now and then we're deciding what to do um, later. I want to go out and get sort his work shoes out because he needs some new shoes for work. He needs new shoes for work regardless, but seeing as he starts his new job in two weeks, he definitely needs some new shoes because you can't go looking scruffy. Um, so I'm hoping we can do that today, but he doesn't like shoe shopping. He doesn't like any form of shopping, really. <laughs> um, but he's quite awkward with shoes because he's got quite big feet, so you don't get a lot of choice in his size. And then um, he has to walk around the shop for like literally half an hour before he decides whether they're comfortable or not. Um, so possibly do that, but we'll see what sort of mood he's in. Um, and once he's out of the shower, we're going to have a discussion to see what's, what we are going to do, because he hasn't thought about it yet. So just walked into the kitchen. Um, chaos on the floor. White litter, white floor, probably can't see it. There we go. Is it necessary, Pepsi Cat, to scratch that much litter onto the floor? And the annoying thing is, he hasn't even managed to cover the poop with the litter, but he has managed to cover the kitchen floor with the litter. So naughty. Thanks for that, Pepsi Cat. Ping's just been shouting at Pepsi Cat for wanting food this <laughs> early, and, and she's been shouting at him, but, but um, we just, Ping just realised that he was actually desperate for some water because his, <laughs> his bowl is oh, bone dry. Terrible parents. <laughs> This woman's going to be having a child soon. He's like, please, he's so thirsty. So, so thirsty. Never leave your cat without water. It is really bad. Uh, but you do that every week, <laughs> at least three times a week. No, I do fill it up. But then, like, I get home and he's drank the whole bloody... He does drink a lot, bless him. He's got some drink now. He'll probably sat there for five minutes because he's just thirsty, bless him. But he drinks a lot. Like, we could fill that massive bowl to the brim and it's gone in a day. I looked this, this a lot. morning when I fed him and it wasn't empty, there wasn't a lot in it, but mm. he did have some. Mm. So he's obviously drank that. He's a thirsty boy. Traffic, lame. Rugby today. I'm, I'm, yeah, it's rugby. I'm going the non-rugby way and there's still traffic. Still traffic. I'm hungry, lots of food. Grumpy when you're hungry. Grumpy when I'm hungry and in traffic equals uber grumpy. Bean's grumpy because she's a woman. No. And she's always grumpy. No. Are you sure? Yeah. You sure? Pretty sure, yeah. I'm hot again now. It's hot, it's cold. Yeah, I've got hot flushes and cold flushes and in general, I need some food flushes. We're going to get some food and some shoesy wheezies. Hey, we're shopping it. <laughs> I suppose it's quite rare to be fair. Is this a uh, happy... <laughs> no, I hate shoe flushes. Trying on some shoes. We're on our third pair so far. Yes, yeah, that's not my fault. You've bought inadequate pairs. It's not pairs too over. bad. No, you have to find the right ones, and we're looking for like some decent ones. This is a pair of hush puppies that we're trying on currently. Quiet dog. Off he goes. Verdict on the hush puppies? It's assaulting my heel. Oh, it's hurting your heel. I don't know why. That was the same as the last pair yeah. as well. 
Is it always the same foot? Yeah, that one. Okay. It's just left foot. Right, I'll go and look for some more. He's gone on a second walk around with these ones, so that's looking promising. I don't know where he is actually. Back in a minute. There he is. <laughs> How is the second I think these are walk around? Oh! A little bit, a little bit tighter. It's got a thing you can take out in it for a roomy Yeah, effect. I did see that. I thought that might be so, good for your tighter foot. It's a bit little fun in the heel, but I think the heels, you know, yeah. some things have just got to bed in the shoe. I don't know. We need a third walk around, or we think those are the um, ones. I might tighten this one up and then do a third walk around. Yeah. Okay. Food has arrived. I have this very interesting shaped piece of fish. It's like a two fingered fish. And Aiden has got a burger with some mash. Eating. <laughs> so we've been home a while. We got home and we had a nap time. We broke the rule and we napped past three and, and we also overnapped as well. Yeah, it was a bit late for nap time mm. actually. And it was like two hours. Which is a bit longer than a nap. Over napping. Yeah, makes you more tired than I'm knackered. Yeah, I'm quite tired still. I think um I allowed nap time because I was tired. Yeah. Um, because some of us had work. I was tired, but it was too late for nap time. Mm. You shouldn't have a nap time too late in the day. I'd also like to say Harvester, bacon and, and Stilton burger, very nice. I really, really enjoyed that again. That was, that was lovely. I love Stilton, and, but it works well. It's very nice, it was. Yeah. Enjoyed that. I ate mine in about three minutes, and then I sat there for an hour while I peeing ate her fish. <laughs> I normally have chips, but I had mash because I was being good. Because well, we wondered like which was better, chips or mash. Yeah. And the chips are like four hundred and seven calories, and the mash was only one hundred and seventy. So I yeah, so that's quite a lot better. It's a lot better. It's disgusting. I mean, it's not the nicest so. mash. Whenever you go to places like that, the mash is always like a big solid, mm. heavy lump, not fluffy, like homemade mash. But it's not great, but. Then it's you did say it fills you up a bit more. It is, it's a lot more filling as well, so generally speaking, it does the job. And let's face it, the burger's the main part of the meal. Mm. I'm not buying it for the mash. Mm. So, um... That'd be weird. <laughs> I'll have some mash with a side of burger. Mm. <laughs> so, um, it wasn't too bad. Yeah. I've got, I've got 16 calories left today, and so I'm still in the green. I've been in the green all week. It's way in tomorrow morning. It's very exciting. I don't think I've lost as much... I don't know. It hasn't I've, done the rowing this no, week. No, I've tried this week without the rowing to see to see what I'd actually lose. So we'll see tomorrow morning what happens whether I lose like a stone or whether I lose zero point one three pounds. <laughs> That's very or if I've gained some, if I would have gained some. I might just just eat a pie and just. Feed Hopefully, on it. you haven't gained anything. But I'm not had. Be well annoyed. Yeah, that would be quite annoying. Mm. But you haven't been rowing. No, but I shouldn't have to. It's naughty. You're naughty. Just row. Want to row. You row. Row, row. There's a rowing machine in my lounge. No, there's not. There's a rowing simulator in your lounge. <laughs> it's not a lounge accessory. Look, if I had a massive house, I'd put it in the gym room. But I don't, so it's tough. Stupid rowing machine. You want to win the lottery for me? We'll go and have a gym room in our house. What does everyone think of a tortoise? Peen wants a tortoise. Tortoises. <laughs> they are cool. But I've always said I wanted one, but it's not like a serious. I'm gonna go out tomorrow and buy a tortoise. Uh, no, you're not research by tomorrow. No, they're like obviously they're not general pets, so you have to know how to care for them and stuff. But you did care for my cows. Yeah. And they're considerably more difficult than a tortoise. Yeah. Basically. That's, that's my cause. You can. <laughs> <laughs> you can care for anything if you can care for fucking macaw. Macaws, hmm. amazing. Biggest pain in the bum. Need lots of space and lots <laughs> of time. Sadly, we didn't have the space and we had to choose child over our, our other babies. It was very sad. Or time. Just stuff like our plans career wise and everything changed. We can't move house for a while because of the 
the old recession and my eggs won't wait for the recession. No. Or triple eggs. Um so we did have to we've we've taken them to a lovely parrot zoo, which was like the hardest decision ever, but it was better for them. It was better for them. And we will have another bird at some point. Maybe a grey or something much. smaller, we'll have to see, but it'll be in the next house. When we move house, we'll... When we can we'll dedicate a room to them. them. Although I'd rather have another macaw. I want a hyacinth, but they're about 14 grand. <laughs> but they're very nice. <laughs> and they're so cute and dopey. They're still a parrot. Yeah. Birds are evil. <laughs> no, they're lovely. <laughs> But also evil. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> but they're also lovely. You should give they me kisses. They are lovely. They're great fun. Give me kisses and you think and you can't like cuddle and play with one, but you can. You can. You can cuddle a bird. It's weird, but it's cute. You just sit on my shoulder. You put his little wing around me. He was like, Mah. they're like little babies. He put his little face on my face and was like, mm. just to kind of snuggle up to me. Bless him. It's very sad. Then they get in a mood and, and they get in a mood and bite. Rip your skin. So. Yeah. <laughs> but you want those hilarious <laughs> you let go <laughs> I know I just found out I was on the computer and I just found out the results <laughs> of my degree and I just found out that I'd got a first on my degree and I was so excited and she was on my shoulder and then she just grabbed my shoulder and wouldn't let go so then I was crying <laughs> <laughs> she was like I got a first ow <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was funny. Little cow. She was, she was retarded. <laughs> she was a special parrot. She was special, bless her. Oh. she loved mummy. <laughs> she was funny, yeah. She loved mummy and, and Aussie mine loved me. It was very cute. <laughs> anyway, enough depressing talk. Might get a tortoise. One day. One day. Take care of that first, probably not the time. <laughs> so maybe later on. Anyway, it's sleepy time, so we'll see everyone tomorrow. <laughs>